never know where you might find a good view for a great painting, and you need to just try every possibility. That means driving down every dirt road and hiking back into every trail you see. It's always good to have the luxury of staying in the area you're painting for an extended period of time. And I try to do this whenever I can. It's nice when you can get involved, learn a little local history from the people who live there, and try to find out from them what it is that makes their region so unique. <laughs> I don't know what we should do. Continue. It's 5.30 in the morning. Look at that sky. Three days in a row now. Well, this afternoon will be the last chance for a painting on this trip. Um, I hope we get enough sun to at least start one. Probably keep going so we can get into that other spot. I painted in different places. Um, you know, there's a change in atmosphere and light. Certainly, the like drier, lighter atmosphere, more crisp out on the West Coast than you have in Florida. One of the beauties of the Southeast is the is the kind of heavy, humid air. The way it sort of lays on the surface, and you get you get this kind of filtration. Um, this year, I'll be in California, Montana, the Virgin Islands, up and down the Eastern Seaboard quite a bit into different areas that are that are all completely unique, and completely different from each other. So it'll be exciting and challenging to paint all those different spots. off the right now right in front of those reeds you can come in here and you can lay that that light kind of in there it won't be there in a minute watch it'll be gone in about two minutes it won't be there <laughs> So much more information than you could ever put down in pain. So what you just try to do is you begin with the most biggest, most basic elements of the landscape of the composition. You put that together as quickly as you can. When I first came out here, you saw I had this thing laid out in, in 10 minutes. It seemed like it was just going to be over, you know, before you had the chance to, you know. You know, then you got to go back and just keep refining and keep putting in more and more things. And the more you look, the more you see, and you just keep, you know, uh, you just keep adding things to it. 
working it up slowly. Little things that might help create a little more depth in the piece. It might create a little more color. Like back here, it's a little too light. I could come in and add a little darker in there. All of a sudden, that, that moves back a little bit more. You know, it's very subtle.